So tell us about this one that we're about to taste right now. So this is Gruner Veltliner 2017. Okay. Um, this actually won a Best in Class Award from the San Francisco Chronicle Competition. Oh, wow. Uh, so that's an international competition. Uh, Gruner Veltliner is the name of the grape, so it's actually an Austrian varietal, and 100% that varietal, all of the grapes were grown on our farm. And uh, we fermented it in stainless steel, and since it's 2017, it's had about a year in the bottle to age. Wow. I was taught this, you gotta swirl, right? Yeah, so fun fact, if you make the V for victory sign, and then... Wow. End, see? You, you, have, you have taken it to the next level. <laughs> See, I was always like, eh, and then like some wine comes in out the glass. It's very sloppy, yeah, Sophia. You so you learn. Now I feel sophisticated. <laughs> it's, like, it's like effortless. Exactly. Mm. What else do you want to talk about, Sophia? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the sniff, right? You gotta, yeah, gotta... so you gotta get your nose as far in there as you possibly can. Wow. Doesn't it smell great? It smells great. Mm, I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. Now, the, you did the mouth thing. I that, did. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so I've also learned about that. So it's, you're, you're kind of like a little dolphin, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so I just. I'm still, I'm still learning. I'm still <laughs> I describe it as like a backwards whistle. I whistle the wrong way anyway. Right. So yeah, I can't whistle I, either. So. I suck air in, um, but it's like a slurp. So you kind of go. And, and then, how is that help? So that's helping you identify different Exactly. Elements? So if you take, um, so how we swirled, we were mm -hmm. actually adding air into the wine. Okay. Which brings out some of the aromas. The, it, the same idea kind of exists when you take a sip. Gotcha. So when you do that slurp, you're adding air and it changes the flavor of the wine. Interesting. So usually when we do like little wine seminars for, for classes, we'll tell them to take a regular sip mm -hmm. and then take a sip with a backward whistle. Ah. And you can taste- Taste a difference. Yep, you can taste different things. Ah, now I'm intrigued. Here we go. Just don't choke. Please. I know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever allowed to do one of those again, but uh, <laughs> may maybe in a few years. Mm. I really enjoyed this. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So tell me like the history with Bellevue and all that. Were you, were you there from the ground <laughs> no. floor? No. <laughs> Sophia so, from the beginning? Yeah. <laughs> so the, um, the winery uh, started originally as a vegetable farm. Uh, really? Yeah. So in 1914, the owner's great, great, great grandfather came over from Italy mm -hmm. and he purchased the 20 acres where the winery is and he started planting vegetables. Um, they called it Bellevue. And, um, in ninth, and then they passed it down generation to generation. And then in 1999, the market crashed. Mm -hmm. So we were selling uh, bok choy, nappy cabbage to New York and the Chinatown markets. And the market just wasn't there anymore. So Jim had always grown grapes and mm -hmm. made wine. And he decided to um, kind of take the plunge. So we planted three acres, wow. and then in 2000 we opened, and we've kind of been rocking and rolling ever since. <laughs> but we're so excited, Down and Derby Wine Festival. This is gonna be really, really fun, our first ever doing this. All the best wineries, all of South Jersey, including one of our favorites, Bellevue Winery. Uh, so come and enjoy a day of wine and food and music, and um, I get to host, which is gonna be so, so much fun. Uh, wear the big hats, get the, your whole derby, mm -hmm. you know, attire on. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Sophia, thank you for uh, you know trying some wine with us. Oh, we thank appreciate it. Thank you so it. much for having me. It appreciate so fun. it.